I'm now going to show an example how we can combine different attributes on the graphical list. So for this we're going to use the document list again, load template, and we're going to combine the description with another field. So I'm not going to move anything, I'm just going to create a combination of attributes. So straight away without exploding I can go to edit text and click on the attribute at the top there for the description. So initially I need to use a special code which is hash fu to combine the text. I then put square brackets around the first piece of text and then use another set of brackets with a space in between. So I want to space these two out. And the next one I'm going to put is actually going to be the second page description. Now in order to find this I'm going to go into help on the top right, the question mark. I'm going to search the graphical lists into the lists and I'm going to click on document list on the left hand side. I'm then going to scroll down. It gives you a bit of a description here about what each of these codes means. There are some standard ones at the top showing the number of lines and the spacing in millimeters and I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for page description line 2. I'm just going to highlight that and just copy it and back in here I'm going to put a square bracket, paste it in and close it with another square bracket. So we now have hash fu the first attribute and then followed by the second attribute. Close that down, minimize that. So now the description should be made up of two lines. I'm going to close down the list template and because it's been changed it prompts me to save it. I'm going to save it with the same letter A at the end. Click on save and choose yes to replace it and then again generate it. You can see at the moment I've only got a single description here, very basic. Right click, generate it and now when I look at that information I can see I've got a full description of the first and second lines for each of these. If we look back at the project we can see that both lines are now being shown with the space in between on the graphical report. So again that was using hash fu and then each of the attributes in square brackets.